we cry to you, to the heavens, hear our supplication. A heavy burden has befallen our army family, our community, with 19,000 gone here at this battle. And so we turn to you, the source of goodness, for comfort and help. Give us the eyes to see the pain that is not your will, that somewhere there weeps with us one who feels our trouble and knows the suffering of our souls. To the divine spirit in whose image we are created, we seek the light to dispel the darkness that has overtaken us. Let us find you in the love of family and friends, in the source of healing that is implanted within all the living, in the mind that conquers all infirmity and trouble. Grant us the courage to endure what cannot be escaped and the resolve to go on without bitterness or despair. There's a pain created with the void of having seen 19,000 soldiers die in this battle, but love is as strong as death, and the bonds created by love are eternal. And we've grown to love one another. And so we have the blessing of memory, and so we will remember those who will not be coming home with us, through which they continue to be with us. Battle of the Bulge is the largest American combat uh, battle of all American military history. 75,000 casualties, 19,000 killed in the Battle of the Bulge in the Ardennes. It's a moral imperative that we remember this day. German armor, often superior, German infantry, often superior to Americans, but American valor, American bravery, American courage, American ingenuity, that's how we won World War II. He talked about that he was in the Battle of the Bulge. He talked about the fact that he was in France and in Germany and in North Africa. Five years. And he always would say that he survived in a box hole with a toothbrush and a Bible. And that's what got him home. Our World War II veterans represent such a, an indelible part of who we are as a region on Long Island. Um, as we lose our World War II veterans at, uh, at, at an increasing rate, uh, so few of them remain, unfortunately. Um, we can look around us and we can, we, and we can see the legacy that they have left behind. We have a responsibility to those who have gone, come before us, to the children who are we are, who we are educating today, and certainly those who will come after us, to be honest about the experiences of those who have worn the uniform. War is, it is good, it is bad, it is ugly. It is also tragically necessary and important and has decisively shaped the world that we live in today. Most of the people on this planet live in some manner or form of democracy. We live in a free world where people have the ability to make choices and live the lives that they choose to live. Those magnificent liberties only come through the service of largely brave Americans who have worn the uniform. Exalted, compassionate God, grant infinite rest in your sheltering presence among the holy and the pure, the soul of 19,000 who've gone to their eternal home. Remember all the good and kind and many worthy deeds that each of them performed here in the land of the living. May their soul be bound up in the bond of eternal life and may they find rest and peace. We say, Amen.